Hello, in this video, I'll do a demo of the code that we developed in the last video uh, of the sum subroutine in assembly uh, using local variables. Uh, I will also uh, show you an important um, uh, twist on, on using this stack uh, where, we, where we use uh, in instead of using the stack pointer, uh, we use something else called the frame pointer. And we'll see why this might uh, come in handy and might be uh, a useful way of accessing the stack. So here's the code we developed uh, in the last uh, video. Uh, this will be available uh, on, the, on the class website. Um, and uh, in a nutshell, uh, this is the sum routine I'm going to call. I'm going to call it with a value of uh, input of 10 and sum is a subroutine. So here's the code for our subroutine. It's uh, identical to what, what I just presented, um, except for a couple of pushes. Uh, I push the link register and pop the uh, PC at the end. So let's go ahead and run this code. Uh, I've assembled it. Um, I'm also showing you the C code um, as part of this project. The C code is here, but I haven't linked it uh, to my main. So my main is still, uh, it's not importing that C code. And so it's uh, still going to call this sum and not the other sum. I just put it here for, for, uh, for reference purposes. So let's go ahead and run this. Um, here's our code uh, and I'm going to watch memory and one of the things we know about our stack is uh, the stack pointer as it turns out uh, when we initialize the stack pointer it's initialized to 0x 200000400 that's where the initial value of the stack pointer is so as I keep adding on my stack um, I will I will keep what I'll, I want to watch what is there so I just chose an arbitrary position and you'll see what those that position is and I put that in my memory window here that's uh, 0x 200003 EC and you'll see why that is the case so so uh, what's going to happen as part of our code is I'm going to actually uh, put a breakpoint right here in my uh, sum. Uh, this code is also being is also going to be used to show the recursive version of uh, uh, recursive uh, version of the sum subroutine. So I'm going to run it. So here's our BL sum. So let's step into it. And when I step in, I see that my stack pointer, as I notice here, the stack pointer is at 0x 0000400. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. That's the initial value of my stack pointer. So the first thing I'm doing is pushing four things on the stack. So I'm going to step over and I notice that at the four positions on four, four things on my stack are the link register. So let's go back here. So I'll see the link register, an R5 value, an R4 value, which happen to be just zeros right now. But this value here, let's uh, let's grab this guy from here to see what our initial val contents are. And we notice that we have, uh, this is our link register, which happens to be uh, zeros. 00028D doesn't really matter that's simply where we're going to be returning to and these three have been modified and that's why they've been changed in color so I'm going to step over and I'm going to subtract my stack pointer my stack pointer now is at 3C so this is my allocation step where I went from here to three more places, uh, sorry, from uh, a value of, this is four zero, so this would have been a three, uh, three F C, this is three F, uh, 
8 this is 3 f 4 and I'm gonna have 3 f uh, 0 and then 3 f c so these are my two variables I'm gonna put I here and I'm gonna put my result here not to scale but you get the drift so now I'm gonna watch as I as I step uh, this is my result I just initialize my result right there to a zero and then I'm going to initialize my sum to be my i to be equal to one right there and as I iterate through this I will notice that I'm just gonna quickly go over it uh, you will notice that as I iterate through um, my sum val result value is incrementing and my uh, by by the it's accumulating by i and my i is incrementing by one so if I were to have stopped here when i is equal to five uh, sorry i equals four we have a value of ten if i equals five uh, here's our result uh, when i equals 5 uh, there's our result and the result happens to be f which is 15 as we expected so i'm going to put a breakpoint here and let it run and this is a value of 10 so it's the sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way up to 10 which uh, from math you know that that's a simple formula for that that's 10 times 11 by 2 which happens to be 55 so let's check and see whether that's what we get so I'm gonna look at my answer right now it is a 37 in hex let's change this to decimal and we see a value of 55 and so we're gonna deallocate uh, we're gonna put the result in R0 deallocate and pop those things off the stack so we should find ourselves on the next line in the caller score.